Hi everyone, this is Ben Betts from HD2. Now, we've been getting a lot of requests to make installing Learning Locker version 2 even easier, and I'm very pleased to announce that we now have Amazon Machine Images to do this job for you. So, just to prove what an idiot-proof way of doing this is, the guys have tasked me, uh, a not particularly technical person, to spin up a new Learning Locker instance using AWS. So. This is something that you can hopefully follow and get up and running with your own Learning Locker instance on Amazon Web Services if you need to. So I'm logged in, I have an account. At this point, I get the opportunity to launch a new EC2 instance, which is what I want to do. As part of this, what we've done is created this AMI, this Amazon Machine Image, and what that will do for you is install all of the dependencies and get the server up and running without any intervention. This only exists in a few of the data centers that AWS has. So up in the top corner, make sure you're either in uh, US East 1, that's Virginia, or California, or in the EU in the Ireland DC. These are the three where we've placed the AMIs for now. So I'm in California, that's fine, I'm going to stay there. I navigate to Community AMIs and type away Learning Locker, hit enter. At this point, you see the AMI from HG2 Labs. This is the badger that we want. Perfect. So I hit select. Now there's a bunch of configuration options. I can choose what size of instance I want. I'm cheap, so I'm going to use this free tier uh, T2 Micro as my uh, base. Go to next. I don't need to change anything on configuring the instance details. I'm happy with all of these uh, settings. Next to storage, 20 gig is plenty so we're going to be fine with this next add tags not something that I need to do right now and finally I need to configure a security group if you've never used AWS before at this point you should probably stop and read a little bit more about AWS security groups and how this works if you have then you probably already have something existing like I do here so in this case I'm just going to select my LL security group at this point, I'm ready to commit to launching uh, this Amazon machine image using this setup and these settings. Bear in mind, I'm on the, uh, the low to moderate sort of T2 micros here, here, so it's actually free. If you've selected something that's at a higher instance type, then after hitting launch, you are going to be on the hook for a few pennies an hour. Me, I'm cheap, so this is free. I'm going to hit launch. And finally, I need to select my key pair that I'm going to get into my server with. So if you've used uh, AWS before, you probably have an existing key pair which will give you access to this server over SSH. If not, then you're going to need to change something here. So actually, I'll go to create a new key pair. I'm going to give it a name, uh, Ben uh, Demo one and then I'm going to click download key pair. That's going to download a .pem, a .pem file to my computer, and you'll need that stored if you're going to get access to your learning locker once it's launched. So make sure you've got your pem file. With that in mind, launch instance. Your instances are now launching. You can click over to view instances, and at this point, you'll see any previous ones that you've done before, and you'll see this one here that I've just launched is pending. As this progresses in the build process, which will only take a few minutes, a public DNS will become available. You'll be able to copy and paste that DNS, open into a new tab, and then periodically refresh to see whether or not your Learning Locker is ready. Should take a few minutes, you'll see a few different screens, and then you'll know Learning Locker is ready because this dashboard status will turn to running, and the public DNS will resolve to the Learning Locker login screen. We can already see that we've started running, and now I have got a public DNS. So at this point, I can copy that, open up a new tab, paste it in, go over to my new found instance. Still installing, if you see a 404 like this, this is fine. We know that Nginx has started installing, we just haven't quite got to all of the services yet. Periodically, you can hit refresh, and as soon as you hit the login, you know you're ready to go. The last step is, of course, logging in. And this is where things might get a little more tricky. So what I need to do here is go back to my AWS instance. 
I'm just going to take note of this public IP down here. What I actually need to do is use the PEM file that we downloaded before to gain access via SSH to the server. The server has the username and password on it, I just need to find them. Now I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to uh, bring up my terminal. At this point, the first thing I need to do is change the permissions on the file that I downloaded. I have a handy cheat sheet, which we will make available to you as well, over here in Word. The first thing I need to do is to change the chmod to 400 on the file I just downloaded. I haven't moved it from my downloads file. So if I flip back to my terminal, paste that in here, I have completed step one. Step two is to SSH into the server. So my second line here has the IP of the server that I've just created. So back here, this is where I've got it from. Uh, and what I'm going to do is SSH Ubuntu at IP dash I and then find the location of that file again. If you found it in the first place, you can just copy and paste it from above. So I take this, go back over to my terminal. In we go. I'm into the server. My public key has made it through. And the final thing I need to do is find out where those credentials are. And fortunately, uh, this last line is that. So this will be the same regardless of uh, the install. At this point, I return the email, the organization, and the password. The email, hg2testadmin at hg2labs.com. So I'll copy that. Go back over to the instance I found before then I can find the password, paste the password in, log in. There's my test organization. I am in to Learning Locker.